Hello there. In this video, we're going to introduce the concept of relations and pretty much go through a couple of different representations of them. So let us first consider two sets and a relationship R between them. The first set, which I'm going to represent by A, is going to have the numbers 4, 5, and 6. And another set, which I'm going to call B, is going to consist of the numbers 1, 2, and 3. Now let us define the relationship R between them such that 4 is related to 1, 5 is related to 2, and 6 is related to 3. So what we do, or what we call, R is called a relation between A and B. Uh, another couple things of terminology. A is called the domain of R. And B is called the range of R. And sometimes people will abbreviate these as DOM of R for domain of R and RAN of R, which is the range of R. Now we also may be able to represent a relation in a different way. For example, we can rewrite this in terms of a coordinate plot. So let's again write uh, 4, 5, 6, and 1, 2, 3 and R is mapping in that direction. This is A and this is B. So let's call all the elements inside of A X values. So X belongs to A and let Y belong to B. This is typically the convention uh, that we take. So if that is the case, then we consider an XY plane or a coordinate plane. So let x be on the horizontal axis and y be on the vertical axis. So we can plot, say, 4, 5, and 6 are the x values in the domain, and 1, 2, 3 are the y values in the range. So we can plot these points. So the points are 4, 1, 5, 2, and 6, 3. So these three values are an r. So 4, 1 is going to be here, 5, 2 is going to be here, and 6, 3 is going to be here. So this is the graph of the relation R. So let's work through another example of a relation. So example 2. So let's define two sets, A and B. So let A and B be defined as follows. I want to consider all the points such as negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And I'm going to consider the numbers uh, 0 or 9, 4, 1, and 0. So 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, and so on. And I'm going to pair them in such a way such that 0 gets mapped to 0. I'm going to map negative 1 and 1. I'm going to map both of them to 1. I'm going to map negative 2 to 4, and I'm going to map 2 to 4. I'm going to map negative 3 to 9. I'm going to map 3 to 9. And of course, we have negative 4 and 4. Both of them are going to be mapped to 16, and so on. So you pretty much have an idea of the relationship between these two sets, right? So if x belongs to a and y belongs to b, then we pretty much have a rule that y is equal to x times x, or y is equal to x squared. So this is the rule. But also note here that all the values in the domain, so the domain, and let's call this relationship R. So the domain of R 
is going to be the set containing the numbers negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3, and all other whole numbers and their negatives. This is what we usually refer to as the set of integers. So the set of integers. And sometimes we will just abbreviate this set by the letter Z. Uh, which is typically used to represent the set of integers because in German the word for integers is Zell. So that's the set of integers. And what about the range? Well, the range of R is going to be the square of all of the integers. So that's going to be 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, and so on. So what does that give us? Well, that gives us what? That's just going to be the squares of integers. So some people call, um, some people can call that Z2, but I'm not going to make things more complicated uh, than that. All right, so let us graph uh, this rule uh, that we have. So let's again graph our a picture. Let this be X and let this be Y. Again, X is going to be belong to A and Y is going to belong to B again. So we already know uh, some points on this curve or this uh, plot. Uh, zero is going to go to zero. Negative one is going to go to one. One is going to go to one. Negative two is going to go to four. Two is going to go to four. Negative three is going to go to nine. And three is going to go to nine and so forth. So if we plot these points, so 0, 0 is going to be here, negative 1, 1 is going to be here, 1, 1 is going to be here, negative 2, 4 is going to be somewhere up here, 2, 4 is going to be here, and then we're going to have some more points up here. So if we pretty much look at this graph, uh, we might be able to see that this is going to be the graph of a u uh, if we connect these points together. But of course, the graph, the graph of R is a discrete curve. That means what? That means do not connect the dots here. Because, you know, the numbers between negative 1 and 0, uh, between 0 and 1, between 1 and 2, they're not in the domain. Therefore, there should not be any values in the range that are corresponding from it. Uh, but that overall is a, you know, a general overview of relations. And in the upcoming videos, we'll come up with more conclusions of special type of relations.